I was having a conversation with my brother a couple weeks ago. And uh, <clears throat> that conversation was about his relationships, you know, as my younger brother. And he in his building phase right now. He trying to get himself on track and uh, get himself to a point where he can uh, be his best self. That's what he's focusing on right now. But we was having this conversation about the type of women that he usually ends up in relationships with. My brother has a type. His type is the real pretty girls, you know, the Instagram model look type, you know, they look like makeup artists, influencers and stuff like that, you know the type, you know, real pretty girls that usually have a lot of baggage and uh, he keep on having all kind of problems with these girls, <laughs> I'm talking about like... <laughs> Some of the funniest stuff, but then again, it's not really funny because it can end up leading to some some bad things happening to him. But I'll just give you an example. <laughs> One day I came outside of the house and I noticed change all over the driveway. It was at my mama's house. It's change all over the driveway. I look up in the sky, I say, thank you, Lord. It's probably about $5 in just change. <laughs> So I look down, I see all this change. I'm like, Lord, thank you for this blessing. I don't know, you just rained down some change on me or something, right? I pick up the change, put it in my car. A couple days later, my brother start. I hear my brother telling my mama about how this girl got out of her car and threw a handful of change at his car <laughs> and drove off. <laughs> so. Need, not, needless to say, he be going through it with his with his women, and I can't blame the women totally for everything that they do, because as you know, like attracts like. So if he's with a toxic female all the time, then it's safe to say that there's a part of my brother that's toxic as well. So. I can't even put all the blame on those women for being toxic. It's something that he's doing that's attracting that into his life. So that's what this conversation was about with me, between me and my brother. And I was just telling him, man, it comes a point when you have to realize when enough is enough. You got to realize that you're doing something that keeps getting you the same outcomes over and over again. And, you know, my little brother, I care about him a lot. I want him to have somebody that he can actually build with, somebody he can actually have a healthy, long-lasting relationship with. Because in my opinion, it's better to have a, a healthy relationship than to be out here single, running from woman to woman, woman to woman all the time. So, y'all know me. I, I believe in relationships. That's what I promote on my channel. I'm telling my brother, man, look, right now, you need to stop. Don't do no more dating. Don't get no more phone numbers. Don't slide in no DMs. Don't answer no DMs. You need to focus totally on yourself. Right now, if you going through the same thing my brother going through, you need to press pause on your love life. And you need to learn how to love yourself. You need to learn how to get rid of those toxic behaviors that you have there's something about you that like toxic females if you keep coming in contact with toxic females and you keep falling for the toxic females every time you turn around you got somebody going through your phone every time you turn around you got somebody cussing you out because you don't answer the phone on the first ring every time you turn around you got somebody showing up to the house crying talking about you messing with other females and you ain't even doing that they got all kind of abandonment abandonment issues and they all got all kind of scars on their heart because they've been ran through the mud and no matter how beautiful they are on the inside, I'm mean at the outside, you know there's problems going on in the inside and they're projecting upon you. 
once again, if you keep having that same situation coming up in your life, it's something you're doing. It's something that you like about those kind of women. So pause. Get to know yourself. Elevate your mind. I always say read books. Figure out your purpose. Figure out what makes you feel alive. Figure out the thing that you would do for free for the rest of your life and you would, you would enjoy it and make you feel good to do it and do it figure out how to get into that field and figure out how to monetize it some kind of way you know even if it ain't even money attached to it just figure out how to do it figure out how to get to a point where you're healed where you feel good about yourself when you feel like you deserve a, a, a good quality woman good quality friends, good quality experiences in your life. You know, enjoy yourself. I mean, really, enjoy yourself. Start liking who you are and, and, and liking spending time with you. You know, a lot of people don't know how to be alone. A lot of people don't know how to... They feel uncomfortable going to the movies and going out to eat and stuff like that by themselves. I enjoy my own company. I go anywhere by myself. <laughs> I really enjoy being alone because I like who I am. And consequently, I'm not messing with no woman. If I was single, I wouldn't be messing with no woman that disturbed that peace, that peace of mind that I have where I enjoy myself and I like who I see in the mirror and I like how my life is going. I wouldn't be with somebody that was toxic. Bringing my energy down to a low level. I wouldn't settle for the kind of behavior that's going to have me une uneasy. I mean, feeling uneasy and, and uh, not being able to fully relax in who I am. That's how you put a, a, a filter on your love life. When you really get to the point where you have true inner peace you will not tolerate anybody disturbing it think about that for a second if you love yourself you're not going to put up with anybody that doesn't love you the same way if they don't add to your life if they don't make you feel good if they ain't adding to your happiness not making you happy keyword adding to your happiness they're not doing that you're not going to feel like you're supposed to be with them you're going to run from them as soon as possible you ain't going to waste your time and then when you get to that point and you find a woman that pours into you and makes you feel good makes you know really does add to your happiness then maybe just maybe that woman might be the one you end up marrying. <laughs> I just got to say this. This is a, a part of the conversation that I had with my brother. This is the, the thing that I really wanted to say. Everything I said before this is just background information, you know? The thing that I really told my brother that I really wanted him to understand was that when you find a good woman... Somebody that pours into you, like I said. Somebody that loves you. Somebody that respects you. Somebody that honors you. Somebody that values you. Somebody that that encourages you to be your best self. That encourages you to live in your purpose. And they just want to see you do good. Whether you together or not. They just genuinely want to see you do good. When you find a woman like that. The only thing you have to do, which makes it easy, is I don't know what to be in a relationship with this kind of woman. Because you know exactly what the assignment is. <laughs> the only thing you have to do is make sure that woman gets a return on her investment. That's really how I feel. Of course, loving the woman and... and, and under and her and all of that type of stuff you got to do that that too you're supposed to reciprocate that energy 
But the thing about being in a relationship with that kind of woman is it just makes it so easy to, to understand what your job is. The only thing you got to do is make sure she gets what she needs from you. The same thing that, you know, the same way you she you feel so supported and loved and uh, <laughs> encouraged by this woman. When you got a woman that make you really feel like that, all you want to do is give it back to her. You want to make sure this woman gets a gets a return on her investment when it's real. You know, that's the thing that I love about my relationship. Um, <laughs> for so long. I've had a friend in my wife. She supported me through some, like, my darkest times. <laughs> I remember when I, I wanted to be a rapper one time, right? I put a song out on iTunes and all that. Don't worry about it. You ain't going to find it. It's not out there no more. <laughs> but my wife... At the time, we wasn't even together. She was the first person to actually buy the song and download it. When I was telling her that that's what I wanted to do, she was encouraging me to do it. When I told her I wanted to do YouTube, she was encouraging me to do YouTube. When I got monetized and all of that, she was encouraging me to stay focused on it. When anything that I want to do in life... I'm in school right now. I ain't even told y'all this, but right now I'm in college. I'm a college student. In my whole life, ever since, like I say, ninth grade or so, I would tell anybody, I am not going to college. I hate school. I'm not ever going. I don't need to go. I don't want to go. I ain't going. When I was in high school, my mama offered to pay for my college education. I told her, no, I'm not going. My girl makes me want to do more and be more. So I decided I wanted to go to school to become a mental health counselor. So that's what I'm doing. I want to be used. I want to I want to, to acquire skills that I can use to help people. And this woman that I have, she's such a good woman. She's so supportive. She filled out the college application for me because she got degrees. I, don't, I ain't even know how to sign up for school. She did all that. Set up the computer so I can do the the, uh, the the college placement tests and all that kind of stuff. You know, everything done online because of COVID right now. She did all of that stuff for me. Support in the, the truest form. Right now, my girl is out of state doing a travel assignment that she doesn't really want. She don't even want to be there. The, the environment they got us staying in right now. It's, it's not a good environment. I just flew out there and saw it for myself. This weekend, I just flew out there to, to you know, spend some time with her because she's been gone for like six weeks or so. And I started missing her. I've been missing her, but it just got to a point where I couldn't be alone, be away from her for too much longer. So I went out there to, to uh, visit my wife. And I told her to come home. <laughs> I said, you coming home with me. She tells me no. I came out here to accomplish a goal for us. And I'm not leaving until I do it. When I tell you that woman makes me want to do more for her. That's what kind of woman you need to be looking for. It's women out here that's really like that. I got one. Nah. Um, I don't know where you're going to find her at. She, may, she, she out there for you. That's all I'm going to tell you. But I got mine. And don't now one of y'all try to mess with her. Because it's going down by her. But I just want y'all to understand that uh, it's easy to be in a relationship with a woman that really pours into you. And instead of 
entering in these relationships with people that aren't equally yoked and you know y'all got this trauma bond with each other instead of entering into those relationships over and over again and ended up getting changed through at your car get your cars keyed up or your windows busted or you constantly cheating on women because whatever for whatever reason you got a hole in your heart and you can't never be filled up because you got your issues and you got abandonment issues too heal and go out there and get you somebody good man it's really the best feeling ever to have a relationship with somebody that is truly a, a teammate you can build anything once you find a person like that and I don't believe that people like that are rare I believe they're everywhere it's just a matter of you becoming who you need to become to really attract that kind of person and that's all I gotta say about that